Hello everybody, welcome to a first look, the series where we take a quick few minute look at a game so you know what to expect when you jump into it. Today we're checking out Remnant from the Ashes, first person uh, RPG uh, available on Xbox Game Pass. Let's dive right into it, this one's really fun. Alrighty, so this is, uh, we're currently on Earth, there are other dimensions that you travel to as you go throughout the story. Um, this crystal here, you'll see lots of these as you go throughout the story. They're uh, like teleporters and rest spots, so you can restore your ammo and health and weapon mod abilities you'll see in the bottom right corner of the screen. White bar stamina, red bar health, pretty standard for most games. Uh, you'll see that on my back I've got a uh, hammer that's got that green piece on it. The other piece is a shotgun, which is this guy here. Uh, and it's got like bark on it because of the weapon mod that gives me extra armor against melee damage. And then we got my Magnum here that has a special ability to summon allies to help me fight. So we'll check both those out uh, in the what we're, in the footage we're going to see here. Uh, world's kind of destructible. Any wooden pallets, wooden bookcases, and stuff like that, I recommend destroying. You're going to find little secrets behind them. Um, a little tip there. So, yeah, you go throughout, you kill their root, which is an invading species by the looks of it. So that's one of them there. Um, and other enemies as well, like there's humans and stuff on here as well you'll have to kill. So I play up front in close fighter with either hammer or shotgun that I have, or pistol if I want a little bit of range, which sometimes you need that range to be honest. Okay. Missed in there completely. Ooh, and a good nice dodge. Key thing, always be reloaded. Um... You don't want to get into a situation where you go to fire and you have no bullets to shoot because that happens and it usually ends up in your death. And your dispositioning is being, if you're wrong on it, you're going to die. There's lots to explore buildings. Check them all out. I'm not going to bore you with that, but explore. Biggest tip, explore the buildings. Scrap is our currency that you use to upgrade your weapons and armor. Uh, just the stats, not so much the looks of it. Space fire while using a directional key, WSAD, uh, will allow you to do a roll. Get up here, take care of this guy out. Right. Uh, and yeah, mostly linear uh, story. There's a bunch of side paths that you can go down to do side like mini bosses and even some bigger bosses, which is awesome to do with those. So I recommend take your time, explore. Don't just rush the story. You'll be much weaker if you just rush it. Uh, so let's go kill these guys here. Um, it's important to learn your enemies so like you know when they're gonna how they're gonna open the fight whether they're gonna throw a knife at you like that guy there so you can dodge it or if they're just gonna charge you and then you can shotgun them one unique mechanic is that you have to hold right click in order to shoot if you just left click you'll go straight into melee it doesn't fire your gun that's the one little unique thing only takes a little bit to get used to it's not that hard and then once you do you're popping people like crazy that guy there in the distance, you'll hear a little music to him like in there. He's like a mini boss. Um, this is where we're going to use my uh, weapon mods to help make this fight easier. He's got a big sword. He swings and he can be tough. So first I'm going to pull up the Magnum, summon my yeah. special, which are two allies yeah. to help. They're going to go in first and they're going to shoot. They do range damage. I'm going to uh. pop off my uh, shotgun mod, which gives me extra uh, armor against him. And we're going to go to work. Right now, we're just hitting shotgun, shotgun. Make sure you're dodging and rolling. All right, go for the finish, hopefully with the shot and a hammer. There we go, and we get his loot. Now, he's got more guys that just spawned in, so I'm gonna reload while they're covering my back, which they literally just did for me there. So those guys really make it easier if you're playing solo. Again, it's a three-person co-op, so I recommend getting in a party. Uh, it really makes it a lot easier. And the scrap and long gun ammo. Long gun ammo is your main weapon, where handgun ammo is your secondary. And that was kind of a mini boss fight. Then you'll see scrap and iron. That's currency used to upgrade your ammo. Uh, you also gain experience and points you can put into traits. Um, that's these guys here. And there's 35 in total in the game. I haven't unlocked nearly all of them yet. Uh, and that just gives you different options to increase like health and damage and experience. So right now I max my experience, so I gain the rest of my trait points faster fantastic game worth checking out if you got a small group of friends if you don't stop by the fellowship discord link in the description 
a uh, couple of us playing it over there. Um, yeah, fantastic game, guys. Recommend checking it out. Lots of fun. Game looks great. Runs great. Sounds great. I got no complaints. It's a good game. It's fun. Check it out. Xbox Game Pass. Thanks for watching First Look. We'll see you every Thursday. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.